Hello again. I'm going to do a problem that's similar to one from problem set four. Now, there's a volcano and there's a rock sliding down the wall of the volcano. And let's say the rock is a hundred kilograms. Okay? That's how much the rock, that's the mass of the rock. And let's say it's sliding down. It's accelerating at five meters per second squared, 45 degrees, and the acceleration is five meters per second squared. The question is, what's mu? Okay? What's mu? Now, so we know that that's FW, that's FN, that's FP, that's 45. So those, that's the, that's the free body diagram. And we know that, we know that that's going to be FP. We know that that's going to be FF. And what we want to know is we, want, we have to find out what F net is. Okay? We have to find that. F net. Easy? Okay? Got it? Take a look at that for a minute. Write that, write that, uh, write that down on a piece of paper. And I'm going to erase it all. Right? Give me more room to work. All right? F, FP is the natural tendency for the rock to slide down. In this case, accelerate 5 meters per second squared. FF here is preventing that from happening. However, it's losing. FP is greater. Then F net is going to actually be the FP minus the FF. Yeah, easy? And that's it. All right, now let's get to work. All right, now, we have to find several things out bef before we solve the problem. Fw is 1,000 newtons, right, mg, right? I picked some numbers that are relatively straightforward. Uh, 1,000 times sine 45, 1,000 times uh, cosine 45, so Fn is going to equal 707 newtons, Fp is going to be 707 newtons, right? So they're easy, that's easy, yeah, easy, okay. Now we know that, we know that, that, that F net is going to equal the mass times the acceleration. So it's 5 times 100. Yeah, 5 times 100. So F net equals 500 newtons. All right? Easy? All right, let's review what we just did, all right? 10 times 100, mg. Fw, Fw cosine 45. Fw sine 45. M A. M is 100. A is 5. So far so good? Now, we also know that, that the net is going to be FP minus FF. Right? And this is going to be 500 equals, equals 707 minus FF. Now, we could, we could use middle school math. We don't even need algebra. We can say to ourselves, well, what number do I subtract from 707? What number do I subtract from 707 to, to equal 500? What number? That's going to be 207. Easy? 207. All right? 207. 
So I can say that this, that this is going to be the friction is going to be 207 newtons. Easy? Yeah? Now, I know, I know that mu, that mu equals friction over normal. Friction over normal, right? Okay? So, it's going to be mu equals the friction 207 over the normal 707, right? What I want you to do is I want you to take out your calculators and calculate that. I'll be right back. Okay, did you get it? You all done? 0.29, that's going to equal 0.29 is the kinetic. The kinetic. We didn't use that yet. But that's going to be the coefficient of kinetic friction or sliding friction. 0.29. Thank you very much. Have a good day and goodbye.